Here we have uh, some new accessories that we've, that we've bought. We've got a right angle Dremel attachment. Uh, we have a tool that allows you to grind stuff at an angle, uh, like chisels, and uh, could also use it for uh, drill bits and stuff. And um, we've got a chuck, which will, that goes onto there. So that's gonna give a little bit more reach. And um, don't think we can combine this and this. I wanted to see how much reach we get if this is attached to here, or if this is attached and uh, see, see which combination um, gives us the best. Um, access so I mean really we've I think the Dremel we're, we're trying to see if, if we can actually uh, balance a five inch and grind the face of a, a five inch router um, we've also got the new Dremel multi vice that's literally all this stuff's just come in today so that's the one we want. So we need to figure out how or this can fit here onto onto the T slot. So it can be manoeuvred around, and uh, the Dremel put in different positions. I think with a combination of a combination of this and this, or or perhaps that. Um, we're gonna find the, the one that gives us the best reach. So, some bit of experimenting to do um, to figure that out, but I'll come back to you when I've figured it out. Catch you in a bit, guys. Thanks to Mark on YouTube who, who suggested putting the Dremel at 45 degrees. Done that with the new 38 mil uh, grinding wheel. And uh, that's the sort of travel we can get, about 125 millimeters uh, in distance and be able to grind uh, quite a wide rotor really. It's um, nearly five inches wide. So five inch diameter, five inch wide. I wonder how big a diameter we can go. The next question that needs answering is we've got this off the shelf Dremel chuck and uh, that is gonna fix onto there. Wonder how much extra range that gives us. Let's find out. Okay, with the standard we're looking at about twenty twenty one mil. With the new chuck fitted, about thirty two, maybe thirty three. So let's measure. The distance from there to the back of the back face. So it's like 55 just over. <laughs> Using the Dremel chuck, we definitely get more reach. So that's virtually in contact. So Got got that that much reach um, with it at an, uh, a ninety degree angle. 
and there's, there's about 10 millimeters of the shank actually so it goes up to about, about there which is where the teeth are on the uh, chuck key so definitely better like that so um, if you switch that to 45 degrees yeah it gives you quite a good range 125 mil in comparison to um, let's have a look so roughly about 30 mil like that so yeah, bit of a difference, 30 mil and 125 mil. So just gonna make a few more changes and uh, see see if we can get it any better. But it's looking uh, it's looking better for um, this accessory uh, and this one. So all off the shelf. So really, what we need to do now is change this and try the, we'll try this one, um, particularly that one. We'll see where we are then. <laughs> 